Good morning. This is Woody here with the Grand Rising Morning Message for Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. Aaliyah Crum, along with her colleagues at Stanford University, have conducted groundbreaking research in understanding the power of the mind in influencing health outcomes, particularly through the placebo effect. Their work has shed light on how beliefs, expectations, and perceptions can significantly impact physiological processes and even contribute to healing. One aspect of that research focuses on the placebo effect, which refers to the phenomenon where a person experiences improvements in symptoms of health outcomes after receiving a treatment that has no active therapeutic ingredients. Crum and her team have explored how placebo interventions can lead to real physiological changes in the body, such as reductions in pain, inflammation, or even improvements in cognitive function. One notable study conducted by Crum and her colleagues examined how the mindset around calorie labels on food can even influence metabolic responses. They found that when individuals believed they were consuming an indulgent milkshake labeled as high in calories, their bodies responded with increased levels of ghrelin, a hunger hormone, and decreased levels of GLP-1, a satiety hormone. However, when the same individuals believed they were consuming a sensible milkshake labeled as low in calories, their bodies showed the opposite hormonal response. This research highlights how perceptions and beliefs about food can influence physiological responses related to metabolism. I guess if it's diet bread, you will believe it's diet bread. Another area of Crumb's research delves into the concept of mindset interventions and how they can impact health outcomes. Mindset interventions often involve changing beliefs or perceptions to promote positive health behaviors or outcomes. For example, Crum and her team have explored how framing exercise as a fun and enjoyable activity rather than a chore can lead to better adherence to exercise regimens and better health outcomes over time. See, it's actually fun to go to the gym. It's not about pain and gain, it's about having fun. The growth mindset is another concept which was developed by psychologist Carol Dweck. And this refers to the belief that one's abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication, effort, and perseverance. In contrast to a fixed mindset where individuals believe their qualities are static and unchangeable, those with a growth mindset embrace challenges, view failures as opportunities for growth, and persist in the face of setbacks. This mindset empowers people to achieve amazing things in several ways. Number one, embracing challenges. Individuals with a growth mindset see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than threats to their abilities. They are more likely to take on difficult tasks and push themselves beyond their comfort zones, knowing that effort and practice are essential for improvement. I tell this to myself all the time. I bully myself because I say, you know what? Not good enough. You can do more. And I push myself to do more. Persistence and resilience. People with a growth mindset exhibit greater resilience and perseverance in the face of obstacles. They view setbacks as a temporary setback rather than a permanent failure, something that ends a whole attempt to do something, right? They are more inclined to bounce back from setbacks through renewed determination. In other words, you get up, you brush yourself off, you keep going, no matter what. Number three, learning and development. A growth mindset fosters a love of learning and a commitment to personal development. Individuals with this mindset are more open to feedback, eager to learn from their mistakes and continuously seek out opportunities for self-improvement. You have to have thick skin. Take it, take that criticism, figure out what you can do better and do better.
Number four, creativity and innovation. The belief that abilities can be developed cultivates a mindset of curiosity and exploration. People with a growth mindset are more likely to experiment, take risks, and think outside the box, leading to greater creativity and increased innovation in all of their endeavors. Achieving goals. With a growth mindset, individuals are more likely to set ambitious goals and work diligently towards achieving them. They understand that progress takes time and effort, and they're willing to put in the work necessary to reach their aspirations. I can tell you that I'm definitely an example of that. I've overcome a lot of limiting things in my life, and I've done things that amazingly I didn't think I could ever do. Number six, overcoming limiting beliefs. A growth mindset challenges limiting beliefs and self-imposed barriers to access. It encourages individuals to reframe their thoughts and beliefs about their abilities, allowing them to unlock their full potential and pursue their dreams with confidence. Building self-efficacy. Believing in the power of effort and persistence builds self-efficacy, the belief in one's ability to exceed. People with a growth mindset develop greater confidence in their capacity to overcome challenges and accomplish their goals. This leads to fueling further success. Number eight, inspiring others. Individuals with a growth mindset often serve as inspirational role models for others. Their dedication, their resilience, and their achievements inspire those around them to adopt a similar mindset and pursue their own goals with determination and optimism. In summary, the growth mindset does really empower people to do amazing things by fostering a belief in the potential for growth and development, promoting resilience and perseverance in the face of challenges. This nurtures a love of learning and innovation and inspires others to reach their greatest, highest, and most full potential. Going back to Crumb's research, this underscores the powerful role that the mind plays in shaping health and well-being. By understanding how beliefs, expectations, perceptions influence physiological processes, we can harness the mind's potential to promote healing and foster healthier behaviors. This work has implications for various fields, as well as medicine, psychology, and public health. And it highlights the importance of considering the mind-body connection in healthcare practices and interventions. I'm sure we've all heard that the mind can move mountains. I'm sure we've all heard that with the faith of a mustard seed, all things are possible. Let me tell you my own personal story. I myself possess nine academic post uh, high school degrees, right? I have two associate's degrees. I have three bachelor's degrees. I have three master's degrees and one doctorate, a professional doctorate. And I took them as subjects that I thought were actually some of the hardest for me. I, I, I didn't I didn't go and take them in fluff subjects or anything like that. And quite the opposite. I went and got a degree in computer science. I went and got a degree in mathematics. I went and got a degree in information technology management. I went ahead and got a degree in economics. I went ahead and got a degree in data analytics. And trust me, getting there wasn't easy. These were some very hard subjects. And I took very hard subject matter, which... I didn't think I could ever do. Like when I was in college, for the very first time, getting my just my one single degree, I remember that statistics used to boggle my mind. I could never understand what the heck was going on. I used to just ask my ex-girlfriend to help me, and so she pretty much I relied on her, and it was just something I never thought I'd ever be possible of in my life. To be, to be honest with you, that whole part of me, you know, the idea of doing advanced mathematics, ex- advanced. Um, algebraic manipulations I didn't think I ever would but then now here I am speaking to you and you know I've taken things like linear algebra I've taken differential equations I've taken 
uh, different subjects in statistics, stochastic methods, um, you know, advanced forms of, of regression, both linear and nonlinear. And a couple of years ago, this would have been Greek to me. But with that growth mindset, I was able to unlock that part of me that could do anything. I was able to say, you know what? No, I don't accept that. I've always been better than I ever thought I was. I've been holding me back. I've been my own enemy. And so that's why I delivered this message here to you today. There's a URL link below that you can go to read the Stanford article. And just understand that if you tell yourself you can't do something, you won't do it. I, I promise you, you won't do it. You say, no, nah, I'm too old. No, I don't get it. No, I'm too tired. It's too much work then yes, you won't be doing it. You, you won't succeed. It'll be too much work. You'll just stay there and you'll remain stagnant in that stagnant sort of belief system and energy and you will not accomplish anything. But if you actually sincerely convince yourself in your mind that you are limitless, then there will be nothing that can stop you. Particularly when you have the belief of the Most High God behind you, nothing can stand in your way. This is our Grand Rising Morning Message for Tuesday. May 7th, 2024. Woodman here. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for the support of my channel. I love you. Have a wonderful day.